Hi everyone, I am Dylan the Yontain Void, and we are back with more LSPDFR, this time around using this Crown Vic for the LSPD. I am also joined by a partner who you can see over there behind the current suspect that we have. Now, we have this guy right here pulled over, mainly because it is a stolen vehicle, reported at least. So I don't know for a fact that the vehicle is stolen, but... In our records it shows that way so i want to talk to him first to get some information and go from there let's request a pad check for jason miller he has an outstanding warrant so that isn't too good let's go ahead and uh arrest him arrest, get him in cuffs before i do any pat downs I think I'm going to let my partner pat him down. Find out what's going on with this guy. We have three additional passengers. That is why I called for a unit just to be here with us. We found a cell phone and a meth pipe. Not too good, my friend. Not too good. I think we will also... He consented to a breathalyzer a few moments ago, but I do think we may ask him again. He rarely drinks. We smelled a strong odor of alcohol in the vehicle. That's why I'm considering a breathalyzer test. He'll consent to it, so I did assume so. Let's have our partner go ahead and test him for that. Because that can be an additional charge on him comes back as zero so we're not going to charge him for that we're going to charge him for uh probably the stolen vehicle i want to get these other passengers out first Hold it. get him out i'm gonna have him uh walk with me walk around here for me sir don't go near my front door sir get over here i think he might be intoxicated look where he's going the way he's walking right now he wasn't driving, so he's fine. Have him stand there. My partner is watching him. We're going to get these additional passengers out as well. Wait there. You stay right there. And ask this guy here to also... Can I not get him out? Move, buddy. Hold there we go. Okay, we're good there. We have all of them out of the vehicle. Now I'm going to search the vehicle before I arrest the driver. Let's go ahead and search it. I will make sure that it is stolen before I charge him as well. So an empty rucksack. Let's go back to our vehicle while our partners watch all of these guys. We have each partner on two suspects. Let's check. So, a Shafter 2. It is a stolen vehicle. The owner is a Kinti. Kinti, whatever his name is. He has a concealed gun permit, stuff like that. Jason Miller has an arrest warrant for assault on a law enforcement officer or emergency personnel. We will go ahead and get him for all of these things. So, he has a meth pipe, so we'll get that in a moment. So, possession of a stolen vehicle traffic crimes there was something i was going to get him for here maybe not uh property crimes good to go non-violent other crimes all of these things are good drugs he had a meth pipe so we'll get him for uh possession of methamphetamines then we will also get him for there was something else i was going to get him for there was something else i don't remember what it was i think honestly that's all i'm going to charge him for i'm sure there is more we could charge him for at this point but i don't believe i'm going to I did not know you had all of these charges. 
you could actually put on someone. That's pretty good. I like that. So that's all I'm going to charge him with right now. We'll uh, submit those charges. Also, we have... What was it? So, assault on a law enforcement officer. Can I get him for that? So, assault on a law enforcement officer. We'll also go ahead and clear that off for him. Let's go back to him and let a unit take this guy off. Request a transport unit. Might be able to just get this guy to take him for us. I will go ahead and also get a tow truck. I'm not going to call insurance. Because I want to make sure it's searched even further for any additional items. Let's talk to this guy for a moment. See if we have anything on him. They were all in the vehicle, so I am going to search every one of them. Do I, you have anything illegal on you today, sir? Thank you. You're not carrying anything that'll get you into trouble? Okay, I'm going to have my partner pat you down, okay? Thank you. I don't know if I really have the right to do this, but in my opinion, all the uh, suspects in the vehicle are suspicious, so I'm going to search them all. So, an ID card with a person's photo, but with a different name. I'm just going to confiscate that off of them. Let's question him and find out what's going on with him otherwise. Just chilling out. Where did you come from? Hanging out with some friends. And where were you headed to? Anywhere you like. Okay. So for you, sir, I'm going to go ahead and get a taxi. Okay. And uh, you can be on your way while I go talk to your friends over there. You're lucky. I'm confiscating this ID card. I don't want to find anything on you next time. I'm sure there will be a next time, okay? Have a good one now. Let's go talk to this guy who is the rear passenger as well. Ask for his ID. ID. I didn't search that guy in the system. I should have. Uh, so this person, Alexander Edwards, we will also have him search. Let's do that before I go run his information. I'm going to have you search. Okay, sir? Go ahead and search your partner. Oh, I'm partner. Never mind. I guess my partner's too far away. That's fine. I'm searching him. A watch, a credit card with unknown owner, and a paracord. Okay, sir. Stay right there while I search your information. Let's hope nothing comes back. Alexander. So, his driver's license is expired. Luckily, he wasn't driving, so... We're good to go there. I'm also going to confiscate the credit card off of him because we don't know who the owner of it is. It obviously doesn't come back to him. So what I will do is go ahead and get him a taxi as well. Okay, sir, so you're free to go today. I'm confiscating the credit card off of you. We are going to have this taxi who is on the way to pick you up take you to the destination you shall desire okay have a good one now here we go and let's talk to the front passenger as for his id, ID. he has this involuntary eye movement james mclovin go ahead and pat him down for me partner and once we get a pat down on him i will search his information a hand grenade. He's going to jail for explosives. What is his name? James McLovin. Everything comes back good here. Concealed gun permit for handguns. Weapons. Possession of destructive device is what this would be. Is a highly destructive device, honestly. Um, then... I'm not going to charge him for intoxication because he was a passenger in the vehicle, so I'm not worried about any of that. I think that's all I'm going to charge him with here. He's definitely going to jail, though. Let's have him arrested. I got you now. Go ahead, partner. You go ahead and handle it. 
he's confused and disoriented we will make sure that he is actually intoxicated so I can tell our responding unit okay yeah he's almost double so our responding escort unit will be able to take him in oh well that was that was not fun was it I didn't mean to delete a vehicle that was bad I wonder if I can search the meth pipe I doubt I can I really doubt it's gonna let me so narcotics field test so I can't because it was just a pipe yeah it's not going to let me that's fine I want to I've already that's all good actually um I can grab a rifle or a shotgun if I need to I like all of this now our unit can take out I'm still using the sunset vehicle back for that I do leave links to all of these vehicles in my mods list which is linked in the video description why do they always put the suspect behind the vehicle then he walks away opens the door then the suspect slowly makes his way to the guy I don't understand that right on. Thanks. have a good one man be careful out there there are some nutsos right on. Thanks. we can also go ahead and clear traffic I'm going to move across all the lanes and we're going to make a turn then I'll turn off my lights because we're going to go up this way that was pretty good we were able to handle that situation effectively we have a suspiciously parked vehicle that I am going to respond to it's right here not too far down the road from the station so I don't see why anyone else couldn't have taken it where is the suspicious vehicle parked is it this one right here sky blue dilettante we will locate it that one over there maybe might be this right here I don't yeah I guess that would be it it might not be but I'm going to check this one first because it's uh illegally parked definitely want to take care of it first let's go ahead and obtain the plate number I may tow it get the information back on it and find out not stolen comes back to a mark he's only been stopped one time we are going to tow it though because it is blocking the intersection well it's not blocking the intersection but it's right here on a red mark almost did it almost did it that would have been bad let's search the vehicle to inventory it a toy police badge and a figurine with several candy bar wrappers okay we will get insurance i guess we're gonna have to handle the van as well see we're doing basic parking work here what is up with this we will obtain the plate number on this one as well find out if there is a reason for it being parked here hey. what is going oh that's the insurance i was about to say Appreciate the minivan valid whoa arrest warrants for a criminal threat expired okay so we're gonna go ahead and get them for am I able to get them for anything so you do have the seatbelt violation and stuff okay parking violations is what I'm gonna have to do park at a restricted zone might as well go ahead and get a tow for it and then we will go find that dilettante All right, 
I'm actually going to get a tow for this one because I want to take it back to inbound. Flatbed, assistance required in Textile City. See, I don't think it's that dilettante over there because that's a gray color. At least I believe. Unless this game has some odd choices for colors. It is a suspicious vehicle with someone actually inside. What is he? Oh, he's drinking booze. Is he planning on driving this car? Let's ask him to get out. Okay, sir. You really enjoy this spot? But the thing is, my man, you're drinking. You looking for a fight? Wait, whoa, 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 he's running. No, don't you run. You're about to get checked, my man. I gotta tell Tom about that. Give me your ID. ID. His hands are shaking. He's probably going to get arrested because he was in operation of the vehicle. He has handguns and long guns uh, permits. Let's go ahead and get him patted down. I don't know if he was actually going to run from us or what was going on there. A pencil and a nightstick. I don't want to know what he was planning there. Let's ask him if he's done anything recently. You've had no drinks today. And what about drugs? Do you look like a drug addict? I don't know, man. Nothing illegal, right? In the vehicle or anything like that? Let's see if he'll let me search the vehicle. You don't consent to it? Well, if I arrest you today, it's going to be searched anyway, okay? What about a breathalyzer? You don't trust the machines. What about a drug swab? You don't see why not? What about a uh, field sobriety? You'll do the field sobriety. Okay. So... Stay right here, then I'll have my partner do a field sobriety on you. He doesn't want a breathalyzer test, but he's okay with the uh, field sobriety. I didn't get the information on the vehicle yet. He's good overall. He's aged 22. I'll worry about the vehicle in a moment. Let's uh, have him test it. I'll test him, I guess. I don't think my partner can. If you fail two of these tests, sir, I'm going to take you in for operation of a vehicle while intoxicated, okay? Just understand that. So he failed the uh, horizontal gaze. What about the one-legged stand? Okay, he's failing this one as well. So he's definitely going in. I will give him the benefit of the doubt today. I guess walking turns the only other option. He already failed too, so I'm taking him in no matter what. But I want to try and give him the benefit. Look at his walking. No. No. Yeah, he's going in. I'm surprised he hasn't fallen over already. If I was that drunk, I probably would. So, he's going to jail. Now that he's going to jail, I am going to breathalyze him because i want to know what the overall intoxication level is we may not add it to our report because he did not consent and i didn't catch him in the act of anything in specific it was more of him just in the vehicle he wasn't driving it so i may just let him off without the uh, exact level so he's actually just below just below but he's failed all these tests so he's going in now we're going to search the vehicle but i want to obtain the plate number because we're going to check it in a moment before i tow it or have him transported so a baggie of cocaine a wallet on the passenger side we found nothing of interest we found a bottle of uh beer so let's find out exactly what sort of narcotics we're dealing with here because that's going to be added to his charges today wait i can't no suspicious substance in the evidence box so we're just going to charge him for an overall substance uh then i'm going to request uh you know what no we'll request it after we file the charges I finally learned to do that. I just want to double check again. Yeah, we're good there. Wait. Christian 
It's a different owner, so it's not even his vehicle, but he's going to be charged for what's inside of it. So, Chris, we're going to arrest him for... It wasn't stolen property, so I can't get him for that. It's not reported. So, yeah. We will get... Driving under the influence. He wasn't technically driving, but that's the only thing I can really get him for then nonviolent others anything specific it kind of was public but not at the same time we're not going to worry about that drug possession I'm just going to charge him with a controlled substance this time around anything else I don't think we have anything else that I'm going to charge him with. He's getting very lucky today. He didn't evade. Like, he started running, but I don't think that was his fault. That's all I'm going to charge him with. For the moment. Let's double check the vehicle again. I want to double check it. The controlled substance is the only thing I'm going to charge him for, but... Let's see if I forgot anything yeah I'm not worried about specifically charging for cocaine then we will go ahead and call a transport unit Assistance required in, and since we have evidence uh, in the vehicle city. we will get a tow Flatbed. Assistance required in textile city. they're actually on the other side on the main road it's going to take a minute, isn't it? I'm going to allow my partner to stay right there with him. I like the uh, lighting setup on this car too. It's sort of basic. It's not in your face Christmas trees lighting or anything like that. So I'm cool with it. Let's look inside. You have an AR. It's actually a partition you can see there as well. You have the Ripple logo. That's the guy who made this. Some lights, computer, and just some other basic things. Let's get our partner. You good guy? Ma'am? Sorry. Called you a guy, didn't I? My bad. All these vehicles are parked legally. Luckily for them. Even that car down there. You're taking your oh, I blocked your way. That's why you took your time. I'm sorry. I apologize. That was my fault. I will just move a little bit out of her way. I always wait for them to leave because if you see the flashing blip on the mini map, that means it's still in progress. And if you leave the scene while that is in progress, it will get stuck. The blip won't disappear. There it goes. We're good. I've had that happen far too many times. Yeah, we don't need to yield exactly there. Wait for it to turn green, then we're going to pass by the station. I could have taken the suspect myself. Oh, wait. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check this vehicle. I'm not going to get all of them, just this one. Search it. No, we're going to obtain the plate number, go figure out some details if the person is wanted i'll search the vehicle is it a ruiner under zoe he is not wanted failure to display license plates is a past citation he has a license plate on this vehicle so i'm not worried about it we will get a tow you know what i guess we do need to search it don't we just to inventory it several blank passports that's being confiscated until we can talk to them i guess we'll get another flatbed i'm not flatbed. calling since required in uh textile city yep since uh he had some passports in there we're going to have it taken down to impound instead of getting insurance A Domestic in Chamberlain Hills. 
going code three just to get over here. It's right down in Chamberlain Hills, I believe, on the same road that Franklin lives. I forgot vehicles actually parked here. It's not a bad spot, is it? It's not at Franklin's aunt's house, is it? No. No. Thankfully. I was hoping it wasn't. You're so pissed. What happened? He trespassed onto your property. Did he do any damage? No, but you want a restraining order so he won't come back. And the conversation is over. Let's go talk to him and find out why he was on her property. I'm a little too close, right? Nothing. What's wrong? Trespassing her property. Oh, really? I just stepped on a yard for a short time. That's trespassing, sir. Uh-uh. Don't run. He has a gun. He has a gun. Thank you, partner. Thank you. Stop, stop, stop. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Don't. Don't. Put the gun down. Put the gun down. Put it down. I had to give him the benefit of the doubt. I wasn't going to kill him unless I had to. Look at all the gunshots, though. We have shots being fired all over the place. Oh, come on. So, oh my my officer's down my officer's down there's a guy coming I need back up code three SWAT assistance required in uh Chamberlain Hill that's kind of shooting you need right there oh I'm getting shot like crazy this turned out bad this turned out bad don't do it Oh, this is bad. 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 I'm getting shot. Get him, SWAT. Get him. This turned out bad. Oh. I think he's dead. You good, man? You good? I got shot. Oh. That hurt. I need to get. Oh, that's not good. Let's get a uh, EMS unit out here. Assistance required in Chamberlain Hill. Ooh. You watch him for a moment. Get everything I can off these people. I'm going to search some bodies. No, yeah, I'm search bodies. I am not trying to revive him because he might have a hidden gun. I'll let EMS take care of that. That's what they're paid for, right? He didn't have anything illegal on him besides the weapon. I don't even know if it was illegal. Are they going to handle this guy? No. Is my officer going to survive this? I don't know. He got shot up. Pack of gum. Can our officer survive this? Oh, they showed up in this. I seriously need to change out that vehicle. I thought I did. Apparently not. Is he dead? If he doesn't survive this, I am going to be so upset. If any of these others survive, they're being charged. Okay, he's dead. They're going to be charged then. I love that ambulance. I don't think I'm ever changing that thing. Let's go ahead and pat this guy down. Have our SWAT unit do it. He had a can of pepper spray. So let me go ahead while they're handling what they're handling. Oh, I am going to charge him with trespassing. What was his name? I don't remember this guy's name. We're going to have to go figure it out again. Ugh. I'm not charging the wrong person. CPR is failing on everybody though. What is your name, my man? Let's request pet check again. Billy Hill. Valid, no warrants. Billy Hill, no warrants. Uh, he's being charged with possession of a weapon. Uh, so possession of a deadly weapon. Wait, did he have? 
that he have trying to find out all these things at once he does not have a gun permit so he is going to be charged with resisting arrest with violence then he is being charged with a deadly weapon uh illegal possession okay no illegal possession of a firearm no possession of a firearm then property nothing there not traffic crimes property crimes trespassing nonviolent other crimes not worried about any of that uh violent crimes attempted murder of a law enforcement officer and that's all i'm charging him with that's a very very long prison sentence for this guy he may never get out actually did cbr fail on everybody i think so we will uh get a prisoner transport assistance required in uh strawberry make sure i get the weapons off of any of these bodies did the weapons disappear or something because they don't have any on them which is good i guess so let's um search his body anything on him so a toy police badge a blank firing weapon replica and a bottle of hand sanitizer so he may have been firing blanks at me for all i know How you doing, sir? Designer necklace, a lockpick, pencil. I don't think any of these people survived, did they? Are they just going to leave now? I need to get coroner out next. I'm just making sure I uh, search everybody. A map for the state, a stick of gum whoa look at all that shot by handgun shot by handgun shot by handgun onwards and onwards search him as well we will also get coroner as soon as i finish searching this guy i'm surprised his hat stayed on shopping list well he's not going to be shopping anymore is he request a uh, coroner unit assistance required in chamberlain hill stop traffic I don't know why this guy was driving through my scene anyway. Are you stuck? I think he is. Keeping my car parked right there for now. Is the lady gone? I hope she is. Looks like she survived. I cannot believe our unit died. That was just not good. You know what? You can go ahead and stop right now. Lady. No, your guy. Stop. Stop with the revving. I'm going to search and tow these vehicles. They're on a red anyway. At least one of them is. Search it. Packing material. Paper bag full of jewelry and a chainsaw. Now we will go ahead and get a uh, flatbed. Flatbed, assistance required in Strawberry. I do think this is all that we're going to win for today. I hope you all did enjoy. Thank you very much for watching. It was a fun episode. It got a little hectic here at the end, didn't it? I enjoyed it though. I think we need to come back for more city patrols as often as possible. I did not actually expect look at the frame rate i'm getting i did not actually expect all of this to go down here on this street maybe down there around the projects where the grove street meets and everything maybe around that area but here oh are, sorry sorry swat it just uh 
It did not work out. I'm glad Franklin got out of this area. It's not a good area, right? So, thank you all for watching. I hope you all did enjoy, of course. And uh, let me know what else you want to see next. If you liked the video, definitely leave a like. Comment down below as much as you would like to comment. I'll respond to everything that I can. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so if you did enjoy. And watch Corner over there being a little buggy. Uh-oh. Did he just leave? I have to... Uh, okay, that's fine. Have a good one, guys.